Hey everybody! Today's video is going to be pretty short. Um, I've been talking lately about how I wanted to do just a quick video explaining in depth, though there's not a lot of depth, what my bra tracker is for. So if uh, you might find this useful, go ahead and stick around. If the idea of discussing the fact that women wear bras I don't know, creeps you out and like go away. All right, this is in the very front section of my planner um, where I've showed you I've got like my monthly setup here. And then this is actually, if I recall correctly, from the undated annual bundle from Peanuts Planner Co. Um, and you see here, it's got this little fold out. I didn't print anything on the back, but I think if you did, it would be the same, though I forget. Um, it's, you know, the little fold out just is where I keep my, um, What's it called? Where, you know, you know what each letter stands for. My key! And also the rules. So basically, when I invested in some decent bras for the first time in years and years, I wanted to be nice to them, to take good care of them, and so I looked up, like, how often are you really supposed to wash your bra? So the answer I got was basically, I think it was two to six wears. Um, you don't want to like wash them every single time, I guess, because you don't want them to wear out faster. Um, but also you don't want to let them get too dirty too often. And also you don't want to wear them more than two t days in a row so that the elastic doesn't stretch out. So those are easy enough rules, except that then you have to track when you're you know, wearing them. If you have more than one so that you don't wear them more than two days in a row, you got to pay attention to how often you're wearing them. I guess you could just wear them every other day, wash once a week, something like that. But I want to like wear the appropriate bra for the outfit I'm wearing. So this is the system that I've got. Um, you'll notice the first half of the year I was not tracking my bras. That's because I was basically wearing nursing camisoles exclusively. But um, starting in, I guess, late June, I stopped pumping at work. Um, and the baby's sort of been weaning herself a little bit. So I basically just wear my normal bras again, <laughs> and I've been using this tracker again. So uh, I've got the three that I had before I got pregnant, and then the two that I was wearing while I was pregnant. I have the nursing bra on this uh, key as well, as um, and also just no bra or other or a nursing tank. Um, I also have like a sleeveless bra that I only wear for special occasions, so I guess that would be an X too, because like, I don't know if I've ever washed that, because I've probably only worn it six times ever. So, uh, basically, this tracker started off with like a color code, and I had like a little dot, and then I drew like a line every time I washed it. It was beautiful, but it was a pain, because I would have to have those colors with me. And using letters is a lot easier. Um, and I love that this is all just on one page for the entire year because this little box is all I need every single day. So, for example, I'm filming this on the 14th and I'm currently, checks, wearing the nude bra. So I put an N. And then I look up and see when was the last time I wore that it was here on the 7th and it was N3. So today is N4, the fourth wear. Uh, you'll notice two days ago I wore the blue bra. And it was the sixth time that I had worn that since it had been washed. So when I took it off that night, I set it aside. Um, I usually wash a couple at a time, but I just want to remember that that one is ready to go. So if I were to wear the blue one again, I would go, oops, nope, that's not right. But it's not in the drawer right now. It's set aside to be washed. Um, and basically, unfortunately, <laughs> there's two nude bras. So I had to pick like A for... The second one and Z for black because B also stands for blue already but I just have a uh, a letter for each one and I just keep track of how often and then also notice like here I have I wore the black one two days in a row but then I knew that I couldn't wear it again I don't think any of what I'm saying is in the proper order but hopefully you get the idea this is how I use my bra tracker and that's it yeah when I wash them I guess I don't mark on here, but you'll see here, actually when I washed, I washed like all of them at once, um, and I just wore nursing tanks for the next three days, and so that's where it is, but that doesn't have to happen. I just, I guess, kind of remember, oh yeah, I remember washing that one yesterday, so it's, you know, it's clean today, and I'll put a one instead, or if I go back and I see B6, I'll say, oh, but I know that I washed it, so it's B1. So there's probably a more elegant way 
to keep track of which ones I wash when, but that's not important to me as much as just knowing that I'm following these two rules. And then I just tuck this away and only pull it out if I need it. And this gets uh, looked at once a day because it's in that front section of my planner that I flip through every morning. So uh, that is all. Uh, this video is probably even longer than it needed to be, despite its length. Um, thank you guys for watching. I will be posting longer videos probably <laughs> coming up. Um, and that's, that's all. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next Thursday or Sunday. Bye.